हेलो फ्रेंड्स वी आर बैक इन टू न्यू सेशन ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी एंड हियर आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट लेटेस्ट डेवलपमेंट्स एंड डिफरेंट फेसेट्स ऑफ एनर्जी फ्रॉम यू पी एस सी एग्जाम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू सो आई एम डिवाइडिंग द इंटायर कॉम्पोनेंट टू टू पार्ट वन इज ऑन न्यूक्लियर न्यूक्लियर एनर्जी एंड सेकेंड ऑन रिन्यूबल एनर्जी सो वील नाउ कवर two area here from examination perspective where upsc can ask question one is in terms of nuclear power so we have to look look into science and technology nuclear technology from this perspective and the second thing what comes here which again very relevant for the examination and you will find in previous year questions at least minimum one question is being asked from renewable power solar power wind power biomass power different areas so here we will go into renewable energy renewable power and we we'll look into various areas which are making headlines which are relevant for coming examination we'll go over into that now when you come into nuclear power in india department of atomic energy dae within that there are number of scientific organization and the most important scientific organization is bark bhabha atomic research center to so be able to look from that perspective second when we talk about renewable power here we have to also see the development of a power sector from the perspective of mnre ministry of new and renewable energy mnre which looks into any kind of scientific research development in terms of technology demonstration and then deployment whether solar wind or any other areas of non conventional modern forms of energy so we are going to see in this particular session one by one so let us now first begin from nuclear point of view what you could expect in the examination right nuclear technology questions are not often asked but this technology area is relevant from three perspectives one is uh, from science and technology what we are covering right now second from environment perspective because you all know that most of power generation in india come from thermal power stations now we are scaling up with renewable power nuclear power occupy the lower segment if we take uh, renewable power hydro power thermal power plant then the fourth position comes into nuclear india has ambitious program to expand our nuclear program by building more and more reactors nuclear reactors we have already existing nuclear parks like you all know that trombe tarapur <laughs> काकरापार काईगा रावत भाटा नरोरा कुडनकुलम कलपक्कम एट द सेम टाइम वी आर आल्सो बिल्डिंग न्यू न्यूक्लियर पार्क्स लाइक जेतापुर इन महाराष्ट्र राइट देन इन गुजरात इन इन गुजरात देर इज अगेन ऑलरेडी ए प्रपोज साइट मीठी बिरधि बट नाउ इट हैज बीन इन द प्रॉब्लम बिकॉज ऑफ ई रिपोर्ट एंड ऑल then you know about haryana gorakhpur village the nuclear park in the state of haryana right that is a kumharia project which is a, again being considered andhra pradesh has a plan to have madhya pradesh has has plan to have so there are many such uh, sites have been selected to have new nuclear parks at the same time existing nuclear parks more commissioning of reactors you are also aware that india is having bilateral relation deals with other foreign countries in terms of indo us indo australia indo canada indo japan indo russia indo kazakhstan indo mongolia civil nuclear deal so we have a very ambitious program now what i would like to bring here from current perspective where you could expect question in the exam one of the very important topic which is making headline that is a not fission 
see our nuclear program and worldwide nuclear program are all based on fission nuclear fission uranium and plutonium and based kind of reactors but what is emerging right now in the current news fusion power energy from fusion recently in the usa this uh, fusion power has been demonstrated china has built a reactor called tokamak reactor east where china achieved the highest temperature in that particular reactor vessel you will also come across a very important project called iter international international thermal thermonuclear experimental reactor india is a member country as part of uh, this project of itr is being built in france right this particular reactor is being constructed in france south of france there is a place called cadrach india china russia japan south korea usa all these are the member countries along with european countries to build this uh, tokamak type of reactor which will generate power electricity using hydrogen hydrogen based fusion reaction there so it's already in a advanced stage and the first such successful power generation distribution will uh, will start in 2035 but first run will be done in 2025 this is another topic which is making headline already in upsc exam there is a already a, a direct question on iter the fusion power and there is a future when we use hydrogen hydrogen fusion then it generate helium it will not cause that much of radioactivity but when you use fission using uranium it generate highly hazardous a uh, kind of a waste material right so all those things are making headlines there so if you look at here i'll just take you to this uh, part this is a reactor what you see right now right this is a reactor is a not a um, vertical type of reactor it's just a, a circular type of a reactor what we call as a tokamak is a very unique type of reactor vessel and within that confined plasma as you know sun star the source of energy is a fusion and there this hydrogen fusion which generate tremendous amount of energy that's what is called thermonuclear because fusion fusion will take place only with the higher temperature like sun and the stars and the galaxy the source of energy comes from there so higher temperature this kind of plasma what you see is generated inside the the toroidal type of reactor it's confined within that within the walls of the vessel right and that heat which is generated can convert water into steam and that steam will go into turbine move the turbine generator and produce electricity so this is very very ambitious project which is taking place right so now if you look at here what is given iter scientific installation is taking shape here what you see the construction and everything shown there now coming to here latest news if you look at here uh image of the week also you have this now about it right i said india is a partner country there so now look at it it is a latin latin word right it means here that uh, sun as a source of energy southern france 35 countries are investing to this particular technology development so here collaborating the world's largest tokamak reactor what is very important word here tokamak so i'll just highlight here world's 35 countries right and uh, they they are collaborating here in terms of building this uh, tokamak reactor right which is a toroidal type of reactor i'm drawing the diagram here and here is going to be the biggest one china has achieved the highest temperature using the similar type of reactor what is called east east experimental 
semiconducting um, kind of thermal reactor with a bond. Now here, this tokamak reactor. In terms of plasma reserve, what is plasma? Very high temperature ionization of gas. That's called plasma here. So what will happen here? It is going to use a kind of a mechanism to generate very very high temperature. That is mechanism called magnetic induction where the current which will heat up the gas inside the tokamak reactor. Here the gas will be hydrogen. So that the high temperature ionization formation of plasma and then in terms of uh, the, the fusion reaction which will generate more heat. So what is the very idea here that within this reactor inside this this is the what I am now drawing here this will be the kind of a within the walls it will not touch the wall within the wall this type of a, like a soup this plasma will be created at high temperature what I have just uh, drawn here right this will be high temperature plasma right hydrogen gas which will heat up to generate that kind of a uh, high temperature you know the sun has a temperature of millions of degree centigrade and this is going to be under controlled condition on the earth that's what the plan is going on so here you will find that this part of reactor and uh, uh, it will use a superconductor here the superconductors are used superconducting magnets to generate magnetic induction it is going to generate a magnetic induction and this magnetic flux or induction will generate strong current which will heat up the gas that which will heat up the gas now such kind of a tokamak reactors in a normal situation is used for nuclear research in lab level there the temperature is not very very high temperature remains under control condition but it is used to generate plasma like in India we have a very important scientific organization under DAE called IPR Institute for Plasma Research Gandhi Nagar Gujarat there the scientists they use such kind of a vessel to generate plasma for kind of a scientific research. We have Aditya Tokamak reactor. What is the name of the reactor? India has got Aditya Tokamak reactor. Now recently a new has been developed SST1. So it does not mean that India doesn't have such kind of technology. We have technology there. What is so unique that China achieved the highest temperature. Right? And the China, that, that China's, this one, which I achieved that one called East Reactor. That is a tokamak reactor, where the 1.5 lakh, that is a such a high temperature, degree centigrade temperature was achieved there. But India also has got Aditya, that is a, if you look at such kind of reactor, from Indian perspective, India has got a Aditya tokamak reactor. Right, Aditya tokamak reactor. We use this one for plasma research, and that is located in Gandhi Nagar, Gujarat. There is a there is an institute called IPR, Institute of Plasma Research. There we have been there, right? So you have to connect all those kind of uh, dots to understand the really where and what sense it makes there. So let's let's uh, if you look at here, in terms of uh, what I've just mentioned here, this part. You have to connect from the web page and all this part and I am now going to the, the same site here, right? This is a site here, what you come across, this is a site here. So 35 countries are coming together, have already come together and uh, thousands of engineers, scientists are working in ETR project, ITER project, the day and night, the work is going on. And you will find here, this project was initiated in 1985. Right, 1985. But now is getting into more development phase here. Like for example, if we take here this case, uh, 
1985 this ITER project that is in France that was started there. Sometimes you have to know the important facts. We don't know what way UPSC can ask question. Right? And 2035 will be really operational commercial way it will be operated. Commercial level. But trial and the run will be done earlier. 2021 first uh, kind of trial will be done there. So here in this context here if you go back here and I am trying to bring here that is uh, in terms of uh, let's go uh, look into the that particular project uh, other aspect on that I am now getting back here right let's look at here so if you see here what is mentioned here that thousands of engineers are working in 1985 35 years collaboration is there right and there have been an agreement has been the nuclear cooperation agreement and all this one now amount of fusion power see what is they are going to have they are going to generate 10 times more plasma volume right given you 10 times more plasma volume than any kind of a tokamak machines all over the world so now if we take into that deuterium deuterium right you know that hydrogen fusion if you look at so hydrogen ha exists in three isotopes protium deuterium tritium so deuterium deuterium can combine to form helium right fusion one same way deuterium tritium with protium gas is given deuterium tritium plasma tritium is the heaviest isotope of hydrogen that plasma with the fusion condition and that will be sustained for a long time once this uh, ITER project starts it is going to generate 500 megawatt power so if you look at here another thing generate 500 megawatt fusion power in its plasma and then it will demonstrate the integrated operational technologies test tritium breeding generate tritium even tritium deuterium helium they have other kind of applications not only in research they can be used in industries that can be possibility there then safety characteristics that is it has to be a safe one it's very very important to maintain the safety because we are going to generate such a high temperature which is there in sun and star and that we are not having control condition if anything goes wrong there is an accident it will be not only economic financial loss but also can lead to casualties so under safe environment this will be carried out so if fusion power as you know that then comes in. and this is the tokamak reactor designed for the the process this is what you come across there now if we come across here so here china european union india japan korea russia and usa they are now giving the fund government of india as a part of what what advantage india will have this once this uh, reactor is in place and the heater project starts successfully same technology same type of reactor will also have a park in india nuclear park where we will use hydrogen we will generate uh, fusion power in our country that will happen post 2035 after this project is successfully executed we'll have a kind of a same kind of reactors built in india and that is going to solve energy problem for the country right so it is going to be a global impact right on in terms of energy scenario this is what has been said here 2006 it was concluded this uh, agreement and this is where the site you find that uh, the cryostat that means very low temperature which maintains the superconductivity so those kind of machines and all this right if we are also been helping to contribute in that so that is what we find timeline is there 2035 the operation will begin it's very clearly given on the website so one area of uh, question could be this this you have to keep in mind now recently USA what made headline I'll just uh, take it to one part recently USA there was in the news in terms of fusion power I'm just doing a Google search so that you know exactly what article was the fusion power USA that was covered in the Hindu paper Indian Express now you can see here fusion power is attracting private sector interest I just told you that in future 
uranium or whatever the radioactive materials which is used for power generation one day uranium may be depleted now there are other problem regarding uranium mining right then maybe one day right after 200 years right all the radioactive materials like uranium thorium and all will get exhausted right but hydrogen is abundant there are so many hydrogen we can prepare hydrogen from water or from other chemical reactions but uranium is limited on the earth although it is abundant but one day it will be consumed india has a rich deposit of thorium 25 percent almost one fourth thorium is found in india but again even after 200 years we will use up all thorium so what is the sustainable solution long term thousands of years so there hydrogen can be the solution right so that's what this project becomes very very important so the private companies are now um, taking interest into this and this US scientists reached long awaited nuclear fusion this was the headline right this you can see here CNN IBN it cover now see here scientists achieve nuclear fusion energy breakthrough and the name of the lab is Lawrence Livermore National Lab in California that was in the news here right then US project reaches major milestone towards practical use of fusion power all those headlines it was there in the news now suppose that this one I am opening the site there now you see here US project reaches major milestone towards practical fusion power and what is said here in the world first the national ignition facility that is a, in USA NIF National Ignition Facility has generated burning plasma, a fusion reaction on the cusp of being self-sustaining. What China developed was high temperature, but only for few seconds. But here sustained long term. If we are going for power generation, we require sustained plasma. This has been done there. It was 2nd February 2022. It was in the news, right? And you can see here. This is a reactor. Right? What you see? This is a reactor here. You see, this is the reactor. Right? This is what the metallic case, and inside this, American scientists achieved. All these are in the headlines there. All these are in making news. When you will ask question, it will have a basic concept fact. It will go to various dimensions of it. Right, and I said that we are also into such research, and for that uh, we have this uh, uh, IPR here, Institute for Plasma Research, Gandhi Nagar, and you can see here cryostat, that instrument, that is being developed by Indian scientists and engineers, and that is the part of the India ITER project. You can see here this is given. Right, this is all what you see the the design aspect of this. And uh, you'll find here Institute for Plasma Research in Autonomous R&D Organization under the authority of the Department of Atomic Energy, DAE. And what is mentioned here? This is a Sabarmati in Gujarat, West Bank of the River. It is located there. So any kind of now see here, the institute owns two operational tokamaks. In the bracket is given a machine for controlling thermonuclear fusion. Aditya and steady state tokamak SST1 again the facts which you need to remember and that could be a part of the question in the exam right mention here so India is uh, taking this lead in this nuclear technology of fusion power not only at the global level our collaboration but this is going to be helped down the line Right, uh, maybe 2050, India may be having such kind of a uh, power generation using hydrogen based fusion power. And at one point of time, India has to become net zero. We have committed also that we are going to become net zero to fight climate change by 2070 under the Glasgow uh, summit there. Right. So that, that could be another way to achieve that kind of a net zero target of India. We will be able to minimize 
कोल्ड बेज थर्मल पावर स्टेशन राइट बट यस वॉट इज चैलेंज हियर इट इज वेरी कॉस्टली एक्सपेंसिव कंट्रोलिंग सच रिएक्शन सस्टेनिंग सच प्लाज्मा हाई टेम्परेचर जनरेटिंग कंटिन्यूस पावर इट रिक्वायर लॉट ऑफ मैन पावर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर डेवलपमेंट टेक्नोलॉजिकल इज अ वेरी एडवांस टेक्नोलॉजी बट यस if you look at the cost which is required and the benefit what will get in long term fusion power is the solution right so this is one topic which i find is relevant for the examination and you could get question there what i discussed just now right now i'm coming to uh, other part see when it comes to nuclear technology not only nuclear power but other development of department of atomic energy i always keep on telling aspirant that you must know achievements of dae department of atomic energy last one year last 3 4 years and this is a gray area because so far upsc has not asked too many questions in there and that could be a question in the exam right so where you get those kind of information pib press information bureau so let us go into that and now get into that kind of a area there which can really help you solve question if at least one question comes in the examination this is a you know that we are celebrating 75 years of amrut mahotsav and in the 75 years of india's development after independence science and technology has really helped society at large today nuclear technology is not only used in power generation but also in nuclear medicine treatment of cancer diseases nuclear agriculture development of new varieties of crops industrial application of nuclear science and technology so there are variety of applications of nuclear technology right so we'll see that one if you see your year in review you must always make sure to read year in review and i prefer that at least 2 to 3 years of development you must be aware of it maybe a question can be asked like two marks one question can really a simple question can really help you score marks and qualify prelims exam right to is tarah ke jo achievements hote hain wo padhna bahut hi zaruri hai ho sakta hai ki direct yahi se question aa jaye theek hai तो इसीलिए मैं आपको समझाने का प्रयास कर रहा हूँ कि न्यूक्लियर पावर जो न्यूक्लियर टेक्नोलॉजी जो भी डेवलपमेंट है भारत में वो आपको पता होना चाहिए और उसमें साथ साथ जो नए टेक्नोलॉजी डेवलपमेंट हो रहा है जैसे कि मैंने अभी बताया फ्यूजन पावर है ना ईटर प्रोजेक्ट तो ये सारी चीज़ें बहुत रेलिवेंट है एग्जामिनेशन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू राइट तो अब अब मैं एक एक करके जो उसके की पॉइंट्स हैं सारी चीज़ें इम्पोर्टेंट नहीं होंगी पी में इसमें जो जो की पॉइंट्स हैं मैं वो हाईलाइट करूंगा ठीक है उसको हम लोग यहां पर देखेंगे अब जैसे ये चीज है अचीवमेंट ऑफ डी ए इन फ्रॉम टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन टू टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू सात साल में क्या क्या डेवलपमेंट हुआ है वॉट आर अचीवमेंट्स आर देयर इज वेरी क्लियरली गिवन देर विल बी नंबर ऑफ फैक्ट्स देयर एज ए टोल्ड ऑल फैक्ट्स आर नॉट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बट समथिंग यू हैव टू बी अवेयर ऑफ इट राइट सो लेट इज नाउ लुक इन टू ये जो पार्ट है यहाँ पर है ना तो मैं इसको आई एम जस्ट ट्राइंग टू गेट इनटू दिस अप्सरा यू वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट अप्सरा यू अप्सरा अपग्रेडेड ये पिछले छ सात साल से न्यूज में है यहाँ एंड इस संदर्भ में प्रश्न भी आ सकता है लेट मी मेक यू अंडरस्टैंड अप्सरा इज अ रिसर्च रिएक्टर इट इज अ अपग्रेडेड इट हैज बीन नाउ अपग्रेडेड Bhabha Atom Research Center Bags upgraded research reactor which is used for conducting research 
अप्सरा एशिया का पहला रिसर्च डायरेक्टर था 1956 दैट टाइम जब डॉक्टर होमी जहांगीर भाभा फादर ऑफ एटॉमिक एनर्जी प्रोग्राम ही वॉज अलाइव इंडिया वेंट टू डेवलप इंडिजिनस स्वदेशी वन मेगावाट रिसर्च रिएक्टर दैट वॉज नेम्ड अप्सरा राइट इवन पंडित नेहरू द फर्स्ट प्राइम मिनिस्टर ही केम टू द बार्क सेंटर दैट टाइम टू कमीशन दैट रिसर्च रिएक्टर एंड अप्सरा रिएक्टर प्लेड पिवोटल रोल इन टर्म्स ऑफ कंडक्टिंग साइंटिफिक रिसर्च टू डेवलप न्यूक्लियर टेक्नोलॉजी इन इंडिया बट दैट ओल्ड अप्सरा रिएक्टर वॉज शट डाउन अब उसी अप्सरा डिजाइन और उसी रिएक्टर के बेसिस पे एक नया अप्सरा डेवलप किया गया विच इज कॉल अप्सरा यू अपग्रेडेड इट इज ए स्विमिंग टाइप रिएक्टर लुक्स लाइक स्विमिंग पूल एक सोनी लीव में बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट वेब सीरीज है रॉकेट बॉयज <laughs> मुझे नहीं पता कितने लोगों ने देखा है हमने ऑफ यू एवरी वॉज दैट रॉकेट बॉयज रॉकेट बॉयज सीजन वन रॉकेट बॉयज इज अ वेब सीरीज बेस्ड ऑन लाइफ ऑफ आवर फाउंडिंग फादर्स ऑफ स्पेस टेक्नोलॉजी न्यूक्लियर टेक्नोलॉजी डिफेंस टेक्नोलॉजी इंपॉर्टेंट जो साइंटिस्ट हैं इंडिया उसके बेस्ड यू नो दैट फादर ऑफ स्पेस प्रोग्राम डॉक्टर विक्रम अंबालाल सारा भाई फादर ऑफ एटॉमिक एनर्जी प्रोग्राम डॉक्टर होमी जहांगीर भाभा आप उस वेब सीरीज में डॉक्टर कलाम को भी देखेंगे ग्रेट कलाम डॉक्टर ए पी जे अब्दुल कलाम मिसाइल मैन ऑफ इंडिया यंग कलाम भी वहां पर है सीजन वन में ही उसी में एक जगह पे दिखाया गया है स्विमिंग टाइप ऑफ दैट अप्सरा रिएक्टर वे भाभा होमी जहांगीर भाभा एंड पंडित नेहरू दैट टाइम प्राइम मिनिस्टर कम्स फॉर इनोग्रेशन एंड दैट वाज अ मेजर अचीवमेंट ऑफ इंडिया इट इट इज नॉट ओनली इन इंडिया द फर्स्ट रिसर्च रिएक्टर बट वर्ल्ड बट एशिया एशिया इज फर्स्ट राइट तो दैट इज अ रिएक्टर देर नाउ आफ्टर वेन इट वॉज शट डाउन बट नाउ अगेन रिकमीशन With a new upgraded form, right? So this is what comes now. If we go back here, what is said here in DAE update? Now look at here. What is mentioned here? Two megawatt. Earlier was one megawatt. It can generate power one megawatt. Earlier one. Now it has been upgraded to two megawatt. That means two thousand kilowatt hour. Two megawatt pool type. See here pool type. रिसर्च रिएक्टर स्विमिंग पूल टाइप रिसर्च रिएक्टर राइट रिएक्टर सुटेबल फॉर इनहेंस प्रोडक्शन ऑफ आइसोटोप वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रिसर्च रिएक्टर्स आर ऑल्सो यूज फॉर प्रोडक्शन ऑफ रेडियो आइसोटोप्स विच कैन बी यूज इन मेटेलर्जी सेंसर एंड स्कैनिंग पर्पज इट कैन ऑल्सो बी यूज इन वेर द आइसोटोप्स आर जनरली यूज इन मेडिकल साइंस कैंसर ट्रीटमेंट ट्यूमर Like you know, cobalt sixty, iodine one thirty one, diagnosis, treatment of diseases, treatment of tumors, cancer, bone problems, nuclear medicine, and those isotopes are produced by research reactors. Very very important point is given, and that could be an application based question can be asked. Now if you look at from mains exam point of view, so when you write answer. achievements of nuclear power or achievement of nuclear technology this all thing can be given as example correct so now if you look at here field of medical medicine industry you see here industry in agriculture became critical on 10th september 2018 became critical critical means once the reaction starts and they all use what uranium so fission fission based reaction what happened there controlled fission chain reaction because uranium will produce neutrons it bombarded by neutrons it produce more neutrons then again neutrons are stored again it 
bombard other uranium then again uranium splits so that chain reactions when become sustained and controlled we call reactor as critical critical comes into that control chain reactions the so 2018 after the upgraded form of apsara was started it became critical very clearly given here the facility is being used to irradiate samples for production of radioisotopes that means here this 2 megawatt reactor right it is for production of radioisotopes production of radio isotopes for nuclear medicine right so this this is the way you have to be aware of the things you have to be knowing about it and there can be a direct question asked in the prelims exam about this particular reactor is reactor ke bare mein seedha prashn aa sakta hai तो अभी जो मैंने पॉइंट्स बताए हैं और ये सब पी अपडेट में तो इसको याद रखना है मैं हमेशा मानता हूं कि तैयारी सिंपलर वे से होना चाहिए आपको तह तक जाना है डीपर अंडरस्टैंडिंग लेना है लेकिन चीज़ें क्लियर होनी चाहिए एंड साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी इज नॉट अ डिफिकल्ट सब्जेक्ट वन कैन इजली अंडरस्टैंड एंड एंड लर्न इट वट एवर यूर बैकग्राउंड वेदर यू आर कमिंग फ्रॉम साइंस बैकग्राउंड engineering background medicine background non science background arts commerce scientific temperament hona chahiye aur khas taur pe jo india ke perspective mein development wagera hai wo pata hona chahiye hai na to ye cheez bahut important hai civil service exam point of view to ye maine bhi highlight kiya hai now let's go back here aur kya kya major achievement raha hai hai na now you see here very very important dhruv dusra reactor hai dhruv another landmark reactor right now what is mentioned dhruva reactor operated very high at high availability factors and about 4000 samples irradiated at last 8 years 4000 samples ko radiation irradiated kiya gaya matlab record high production of isotopes and is given here irradiated in last 8 years studies in nuclear and allied sciences national institute and universities they are using the dhruva reactor अनदर वेरी सिग्निफिकेंट रिएक्टर तो यहाँ पर ये जो है तो नेक्स्ट अगर इसको देखा जाए तो दिस दिस अनदर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रिसर्च रिएक्टर इज ध्रुवा रिएक्टर सो मोर देन हियर मोर देन फोर थाउजेंड सैंपल्स फॉर वेरियस रिसर्च स्टडीज हैव बीन इरेडिएटेड ठीक है एंड दिस इज बेसिकली टू सपोर्ट सपोर्ट इन न्यूक्लियर रिसर्च एंड एप्लीकेशन इन न्यूक्लियर मेडिसिन राइट सो दैट इज वेयर द ध्रुव रिएक्टर प्ले वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल radio isotopes and again there another very important uh, reactor again the fact which you need to remember it right again the fact which you need to be aware of it and there could be a question asked in the exam right now let's look at another thing here if we go back here now what is given here very very important one fast breeder reactor fbr fbr technology now in india we have three stages of nuclear power program which has been developed through the vision of dr bhava first phase first stage we are using pressurized water reactor most of the power generation or i can say 99% power generation in india are based on pressurized heavy water reactors we have a deal with russia russian reactors kudan kulam and all we are having there दूसरा जो बहुत अहम बात यह है कि सेकेंड स्टेज जो हमारे पावर जनरेशन का है उसके लिए हमारे वैज्ञानिकों ने एक नई टेक्नोलॉजी डेवलप की है एफ 
फास्ट ब्रीडर रिएक्टर और इंडिया में फास्ट ब्रीडर रिएक्टर एक ही जगह पे है वो है कलपक्कम तमिलनाडु में एक जगह है कलपक्कम चेन्नई से फोर्टी फोर्टी फाइव थ्री किलोमीटर्स अवे है वहाँ एक सेंटर है आईजीसीआर इंदिरा गांधी सेंटर फॉर एटॉमिक रिसर्च वहाँ पे फास्ट ब्रीडर रिएक्टर टेक्नोलॉजी प्रोग्राम वॉज स्टार्टेड वे बैक इन नाइनटीन नाउ वी हैव सक्सेसफुली डेवलप्ड देर द रिएक्टर अब उसके बारे में यहां पर अपडेट दिया हुआ है दैट कुड बी अनदर क्वेश्चन एंड थर्ड स्टेज इज थोरियम बेस्ड रिएक्टर बिकॉज वी हैव लिमिटेड यूरेनियम बट वी हैव अबेंडेंट थोरियम मोनाजाइट साइंस इन द बीचेस ऑफ केरला एंड पार्ट ऑफ तमिलनाडु एंड ऑल दिस बट मोस्ट इन केरला कोल्लम एंड ऑल दैट एरिया थोरियम बेस्ड रिएक्टर ए एच डब्ल्यू आर एडवांस हेवी वाटर रिएक्टर इज इन एक्सपेरिमेंटल फेज दैट गोइंग टू बी फ्यूचर सेकेंड स्टेज एफ बी आर आई जी सी आर कल्पक्कम कैन ब्रीड प्लूटोनियम फ्रॉम यूरेनियम टू थर्टी एट यूरेनियम टू थर्टी एट इज नॉन फिसाइल डर गो फिजन विद स्लो न्यूट्रॉन बट यूरेनियम टू थर्टी एट कैन बी कन्वर्टेड थ्रू इरेडिएशन इन टू प्लूटोनियम विच कैन अंडर गो फिजन विद फास्ट बीम ऑफ न्यूट्रॉन्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टेक्नोलॉजी इंडियन साइंटिस्ट ऑफ डेवलप्ड so here you have a update here right so you can see here what is the fast breeder test reactor using the indigenous see here word indigenous hai na indigenous designed developed fuel of uranium carbide and plutonium carbide fast breeder reactor mein jo fuel hote hain fuel rod hote usme mixture hota hai uranium ka aur plutonium ka theek hai i i i at least assume that you have covered this type of concept in the classroom program my purpose is here in this kind of session to give you the the latest update bring about the current aspect but the basic concepts and understanding that in gs classes you cover right so here uranium and uranium and and plutonium uh, plutonium carbide is given here right 440 megawatt kind of a thing has been developed there and a 10 megawatt the production hoga cumulative full power deck of operation is 128 days kehne ka matlab ye hai that our second stage power program using fbr has already started and 128 days it continue to run so india has now gone into second stage ye bahut important point hai yaad rakhna right third stage is yet to start but we have gone into second stage this what the update of pib is all about right so that is what you have our 23 point now i just said metal fuel pin fabrication work kiya gaya us jagah pe ab yahan par ye cheez hai there is an organization which looks into nuclear reactors and the power generation is a government psu called npcil nuclear power corporation of india limited headquartered in mumbai jitne bhi reactors hain india mein nuclear powers mein they are all get operated by npcil for second stage fbr we have an another company called bhavani bhartiya nabiki vidyut nigam there is another psu another government psu which is for second stage that is a fast breeder reactor so you, you, i can take you to the web page of uh, this one so if you see here this one this is the uh, npcil this is the home page of npcil This is the home page of Nuclear Power Corporation of India Limited. Now, if you see here, all these you can see the photograph here, right? Now, what is mentioned here that uh, this one, KGS sets new benchmarks in continuous operation, right? Kaiga, Karnataka, that is there. Then you can see the photograph of the nuclear power plant. Right? This is what you have here, right? so that's what uh, it become really significant from exam point of view right it become really very very significant from exam point of view that when you see something visual you are able to recall right so if you see here this one mention right about npcl you will find here right when you go to here about npcl you don't have to go detail part of it but just you must know the name of the company bhavani there is a bhavani 
भारतीय नाभिकीय विद्युत निगम लिमिटेड दिस इज अनदर पीएसयू देयर नाउ दिस इज टू ऑपरेट एफ बी आर फास्ट ग्रेडर रिएक्टर टेक्नोलॉजी उसके लिए यहां पर है भारतीय नाभिकीय विद्युत निगम ये दूसरे कंपनी बनाया गया और यहां पर है अब देखो आप ये जो आप देख रहे हो आप ये फास्ट ब्रिटर रिएक्टर कॉम्प्लेक्स है आईजीसीआर कल्पक्कम इन तमिलनाडु राइट बट यू कैन सी द कंस्ट्रक्शन एंड ऑपरेशन पार्ट एंड ऑलरेडी वी हैव स्टार्टेड द पावर प्रोग्राम देयर राइट बट यू सी इन द फोटोग्राफ हियर सो दिस इज नाउ बीइंग डन डन हियर राइट फास्ट ब्रिटर रिएक्टर आत्मनिर्भर भारत उस कॉन्टेक्स्ट में राइट सो दिस वॉट आई मैंशन हियर सो दैट यू आर अवेयर ऑफ इट ना वॉट कम्स हियर एन पी सी एल का ये जितने भी है कितने कितने ऑपरेशन हुए हैं कौन कौन से रिएक्टर है वन इज अ टी स्टैंड फॉर तारापुर राइट एटोमिक पावर स्टेशन दिस नेम ऑफ द नंबर ऑफ रिएक्टर्स आर देयर देन यू कैन सी ए रिकॉर्ड हाई नाइस दिस कई का देन यू हैव अ नरोरा एटोमिक पावर स्टेशन और दिस नेम यू कैन फाइंड आउट हाउ मच हाउ मच मनी हैज बिन स्पेंड हाउ मनी डेज द रिएक्टर्स ऑफ वर्क दो फैक्ट्स आर नॉट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट है ना वो उतना इंपॉर्टेंट नहीं है हाँ लेकिन वेर इन इंडिया वी हैव न्यूक्लियर पार्क्स यू मस्ट बी अवेयर ऑफ इट राइट दैट इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट तो ये ये चीज़ यहाँ पर अब यहाँ पर ये चीज़ इंपॉर्टेंट रेडियो आइसोटोप प्रोडक्शन इंडिया इज वन ऑफ द लीडिंग प्रोड्यूसर ऑफ रेडियो आइसोटोप्स इन द वर्ल्ड भारत जो है जो कि कैंसर ट्रीटमेंट या बाकी चीज़ों के लिए जो न्यूक्लियर मेडिसिन में हमें जो रेडियो आइसोटोप चाहिए भारत में उसका प्रोडक्शन बहुत अधिक मात्रा में होता है पूरे विश्व में हम लोग ये लीडिंग प्रोड्यूसर हैं दिट इज वॉट यू फाइंड हियर यहाँ पे दिया हुआ है बार्क का जो है इंडिजिनस रिएक्टर्स अब ये सारे ये आइसोटोप्स के नाम से जो कि मेडिकल साइंस में यूज होते हैं राइट फिर यहाँ पर है ये वेल्थ फ्रॉम वेस्ट जो कि सीजियम का वहाँ पर यूज किया गया कहाँ से हम कई बार रिकवर करते हैं ऐसे रेडियो आइसोटोप को न्यूक्लियर वेस्ट से क्या होता है न्यूक्लियर वेस्ट एक बार हमने फ्यूल रॉड को डाला रिएक्टर में और रिएक्शन हो गया उसके बाद रिएक्शन खत्म होने के बाद जो रह जाता है है ना यूरेनियम तो फिजन हो जाएगा वॉट एवर लेफ्ट ओवर कुछ यूरेनियम बच जाएंगे कुछ प्लूटोनियम होंगे अब बहुत सारे उसमें ऐसे रेडियो एसिड ऑप्स होंगे तो उसको हम रिकवर कर सकते हैं बाय यूजिंग टेक्नोलॉजी उसमें कुछ ऐसे रेडियो एसिड ऑप्स होंगे जो हम मेडिकल साइंस में यूज कर सकते हैं हेल्थ में यूज कर सकते हैं ये एक तरीका दूसरा तरीका क्या है दूसरा तरीका है रिसर्च रिएक्टर ध्रुव अप्सरा वहां से हम बना सकते हैं राइट तो यहां पर दिया हुआ दिस गिवन ईयर और बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट यहां पर ब्रिट एक संस्था है डी का ब्रिट है ना बोर्ड ऑफ रेडिएशन एंड आइसोटोप टेक्नोलॉजी जो है दैट कम्स एंड डी ई दे हेल्प इन मेकिंग दोस्ट कैंड आइसोटोप्स एंड वी सप्लाई टू कैंसर हॉस्पिटल्स सेंटर्स इवन वी एक्सपोर्ट आउटसाइड इंडिया राइट so here what you come across this one rubidium based has been aims ko diya gaya hai na fir yahan pe cobalt 60 you know that cancer treatment ke liye hota hai usko diya gaya hai then um, cancer care you can see tata memorial center tata memorial cancer hospital in mumbai that is one of the very important hospital where treatment of cancer and tumors are carried out what is happening now india the cases of cancer is rising very very fast भारत में कैंसर से है ना जो पीड़ित व्यक्ति है उनकी संख्या बढ़ती जा रही है और कई लोग की मृत्यु हो जाती है प्रॉपर केयर या ट्रीटमेंट नहीं होने पे या सही टाइम पे डायग्नोस नहीं होने पे टाटा मेमोरियल सेंटर और हॉस्पिटल फॉर कैंसर ट्रीटमेंट इज वन ऑफ द वेरी ओल्ड एंड वेरी यूनिक विच इज फंडेड बाई टाटा टाटा ग्रुप ऐसे आइसोटोप्स वहां पर सप्लाई होता है राइट दिस वॉट द पी आई बी अपडेट टॉक्स अबाउट हियर दैट कोबाल सिक्सटी काइंड ऑफ थिंग देयर अब यह एटी थाउजेंड न्यू पेशेंट नाउ लुक एट द नंबर एटी थाउजेंड न्यू पेशेंट डायग्नोज विथ कैंसर सिक्स लाइक फिफ्टी थाउजेंड फॉलो अप्स एनुअली एंड वॉट इज सेड यर मोर देन सिक्सटी परसेंट पेशेंट आर ट्रीटेड ऑलमोस्ट फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट उनसे पैसे नहीं दिए जाते या बहुत कम पैसे लेते हैं है ना फिर यहाँ पर क्या है कैंसर ग्रिड गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट इज क्रिएटिंग नेशनल कैंसर ग्रिड नेशनल कैंसर ग्रिड 
that means all throughout India there will be research centers, treatment centers, diagnostic centers, cancer hospitals in different uh, parts of the country. As I told the cancer cases are rising very fast. So those treatment, affordable treatment for cancer patient, government is creating this national cancer grid. This is what is given in the PIB update. You see here, the largest national cancer grid, it was created in 2012, is a uniform standard for cancer care across the country and eight years later it has become world's largest cancer network. World ka sabse bada cancer network ban chukhe. This is what you have there, cancer centers and all research centers there. Then Ayushman Bharat, Pradhan Mantri Jan Arogya Yojana. That you know the, the central government and in terms of again the affordable cancer treatment, it has been added there. Ayushman Bharat is the government of India program, Mediclaim, Medi Insurance, right all this kind of healthcare cost that is bared about that, patient health record. This is now what is given here is ensuring evidence based cancer care. Tally package and under the scheme, the, the national cancer grid is working on patient health record. How many patients are being diagnosed? How many patients have been recovered? Treatment. All these patient health record, actually using national health authorities, health mission, national health mission here, digital health mission. We have now national health mission. We have created database, national digital health mission, where we have a database of different diseases and the number of people suffering with that all the record even the cancer has been added there national digital health mission right so that is what is given in the uh, update here right so here it becomes very very important and expansion is there quadruple is patient care ab kahan kahan khola gaya cancer hospital varanasi mein guwahati mein sangroor visakhapatnam chandigarh muzaffarpur iska expansion kiya gaya with the support of tata group in the part of the grid, right? This is what is you find here. Then now another thing: Punjab, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, West Bengal, Jammu and Kashmir, Andhra Pradesh, Maharashtra. All this expansion has been ground done. Now coming to this one, there is another center called Attract. Navi Mumbai mein hai ye. A C T R E C. Again, that is used for the health. Right? There is a center there, Attract there. Hundred bed last year, tal tha. Usko expand kiya gaya, five hundred bed. 500 bed. That hospital from 100 bed for cancer treatment and care, it has expanded to 500 beds. There are another achievement for providing the cancer uh, treatment. This is made here. So now here 900 beds. Another thing program is that by mid of this year, by mid of 2023, this ACTREC Active Center, Navi Mumbai in Mumbai will be now getting expanded from 500 beds to almost 900 beds so that more and more cancer patients can be accommodated and given treatment is a major milestone right this is what is given here radionuclear isotopes and all hematolymphatic uh, lymphoid cancer blood cancers lymphatic cancer chemotherapy tumor chemotherapy is all the over so there is now this given the figure here okay how many such kind of a uh, Numbers are being now worked out and increasing the expansion here. Parliamentary Standing Committee on Health and Family Welfare has mentioned the record in the report there. Now TMC has gone into the global level that is here Vishwam, creation of National Cancer Grid Vishwam. Not only providing cancer care and treatment for Indian citizens within India, now TMC Tata Memorial Center is expanding to the international level, global level. Vishwa. Vishwa, Vishwam and that is a government of India's initiative, National Cancer Grid is getting at the global level. Even the patient from neighboring countries, Bangladesh, Nepal, Bhutan, Pakistan, Afghanistan and other countries can arrive to India and can take the cancer treatment at affordable cost within the country in this kind of a centers and hospitals throughout the country as part of national cancer grid yes grid ka lab jo hai keval bhartiyon ko hi nahi hai na rashtri cancer grid ka jo hai bahar ke jo hai wo log bhi aake treatment kar sakte hai ncg 
विश्वम बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है इट कैन बी अ क्वेश्चन द एग्जाम राइट दिस वॉट यू कॉम अक्रॉस हेयर इंटरनेशनल कॉपरेशन एफ्रीकन पेशेंट जो है वो कर सकते हैं यहाँ पर फिर यहाँ एग्रीकल्चर का दिया हुआ है न्यूक्लियर टेक्नोलॉजी यूज इन एग्रीकल्चर एंड वॉट आर बिन द मेजर अचीवमेंट्स ऑफ डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एनर्जी इन द फील्ड ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर न्यू क्रॉप वराइटीज क्या होता है इसमें रेडिएशन टेक्नोलॉजी यूज किया जाता है टू इरेडिएट सीड्स और उसको फिर स्क्रीन करके वैसे सीड सेलेक्ट किया जाता है जो कि हाईब्रिड हाई यील्ड वराइटीज होते हैं हाई यील्ड क्रॉप वराइटीज इसको कहते हैं न्यूक्लियर एग्रीकल्चर वी कैन ऑल्सो यूज इरेडिएशन रेडिएशन टेक्नोलॉजी फॉर फूड प्रोसेसिंग जिसमें क्या होगा द फूड विल नॉट स्पॉइल फास्ट सेल्फ स्टोरेज ऑफ फूड कैन बी इनहेंस्ड पेस्ट इंसेक्ट जर्म्स बैक्टीरिया एंड ऑल दिस कैन बी किल्ड इफ वी प्रोसेस द फूड एंड दैट इज ऑल डन अंडर कंट्रोल्ड कंडीशन एंड दे सेफ टू कंज्यूम राइट तो उसको अभी डेवलप किया गया यहां पर बार डीएल अब जैसे यहां बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है सेंटर ऑन लीची <laughs> मुजफ्फरपुर इन बिहार लीची प्रोडक्शन के लिए जाना जाता है भाबा टॉम रिसर्च सेंटर और डीए के सहयोग से एक सेंटर बनाया गया है मुजफ्फरपुर इन बिहार में जो कि लीची को प्रोसेस करेगा कर भी रहा है दैट इज ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड इट प्रोसेस लीची और लीची जो है इवन द ऑफ सीजन सीजन के बाद भी दो से तीन महीने तक उसको रखा जा सकता है खराब नहीं होगा रेडिएशन टेक्नोलॉजी यूज किया जा रहा है है ना कई बार ऐसा होता है कि वेर यू हैव अ क्रॉप एंड द फूड बट वी डोंट हैव अ प्रॉपर स्टोरेज सिस्टम देयर द न्यूक्लियर टेक्नोलॉजी कैन बी अ बून राइट एंड दैट कुड बी अ क्वेश्चन इन द एग्जाम मीन्स में होगा तो यू आर राइटिंग एग्जाम्पल्स देयर राइट सो दैट इज वॉट यू कम अक्रॉस यूर सो वॉट इज मैंशन यूर लुक एट यूर बार्क हैज डेवलप्ड एंड रिलीज फिफ्टी फाइव क्रॉप वेराइटीज राइट वेराइटीज ऑफ ग्राउंड नट मूंग दाल पिजन पी उड़द दाल मस्टर्ड इवन सरसों का सोयाबीन काउपी राइस चावल का हुआ है जूट सनफ्लावर थर्टी न्यू सीड वेराइटीज आर देयर इको फ्रेंडली बायोडिग्रेडेबल बार्क हाइड्रोजेल हाइड्रोजेल हैज बिन फर्दर इंप्रूव टू अचीव वाटर एब्जॉर्बन कई बार होता है ना कहीं पर लीकेज वगैरह होता है तो हम उसमें लगाते हैं प्लास्टर वगैरह सीपेज को रोकने के लिए तो हाइड्रोजेल जो कि पानी को ज़्यादा एब्जॉर्व कर सकता है बार्क ने डेवलप किया टेक्नोलॉजी बार्क एज डेवलप दैट तो वट यू फाइंड हियर फाइव हंड्रेड फिफ्टी टाइम्स मोर वाटर एब्जॉर्बन थर्टीन फूड इरेडिएशन प्लांट्स हैव बिन सेटअप तेरह फूड इरेडिएशन प्लांट सेटअप किया गया है लीची लीची ट्रीटमेंट प्लांट राइट दैट इज इन द मुजफ्फरपुर इन बिहार देन आई सी आर इंडियन काउंसिल एग्रीकल्चर रिसर्च कहाँ पर लोकेटेड है मुशहरी मुजफ्फरपुर इन बिहार टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन मे इट वॉज सेटअप इज सक्सेसफुली ऑपरेटिंग देयर देन अगेन फूड प्रोजेशन टेक्नोलॉजी फॉर जामुन यू नो जामुन आप सभी लोग जामुन जामुन आप खाए होंगे तो जामुन प्रिजर्वेशन का बनाया गया है स्प्राउट स्वीट कॉर्न है ना स्टफ्ड बेक्ड फूड मॉइस्चर स्ट्रीम जो होते हैं कई बार जो झींगा वगैरह जो फिश वगैरह होता है स्विम स्विम्प जो होते हैं उनके लिए फिश सूप पाउडर फिश का सूप पाउडर तो मिला हुआ फिश का फिश का सूप पाउडर ये सारा चीज़ जो है ये टेक्नोलॉजी जो है फूड प्रोसेसिंग के हजबेंड ट्रांसफर टू द कॉमर्शियल डोमेन वेयर कंपनीज आर यूजिंग दिस टेक्नोलॉजी प्रोसेस दिस कैन ऑफ फूड विच कैन बी सोल्ड इन द मार्केट जैसे फिश सूप पाउडर हो गया है ना फिर यहाँ क्या लिखा हुआ है बेक्ड फूड होता है जो है है ना बिचो नॉट जल्दी खराब नहीं होगा ऑल दिस श्रीम जो होते झिंगा है ना प्राउन श्रीम दैट इज बी नाउ प्रोसेस वन कैन बी देयर नाउ इज गिविन यू फिश ऑफ देखे नाउ वट इज गिविन यूर हैव रिसेंटली बिन ट्रांसफर डिफरेंट फॉर्म्स फॉर कॉमर्शियल डिप्लॉयमेंट गामा रेडिएशन टेक्नोलॉजी राइट एक्सटेंड द सेल्फ लाइफ ऑफ ट्वेंटी एट टन ऑफ पोटैटोज From typical हंड्रेड days to एट months. जो आलू सौ दिनों तक रहता है है ना गामा रेडिएशन टेक्नोलॉजी से प्रोसेस करने के बाद वही आलू जो है कितने दिन तक रह सकता है जो है वो रह सकता है ट्वेंटी एट टन जो है हंड्रेड डेज तक से लेकर 
आठ महीने तक रह सकता है और ये डेमोन्स्ट्रेट किया गया है अट्ठाईस टन एक टन होता है हजार किलोग्राम ट्वेंटी एट थाउजेंड किलोग्राम ऑफ पोटैटोज हैव बीन प्रोसेस यूजिंग रेडिएशन गामा रेडिएशन टेक्नोलॉजी एंड दैट इज एक्सटेंडेड द सेल्फ लाइफ ऑफ पोटैटोज फ्रॉम हंड्रेड डेज टू एट मंथ्स दैट इज टू हंड्रेड ऑलमोस्ट टू फिफ्टी डेज यू नो इन पोटैटोज सी द स्प्राउटिंग एपन्स बर्ड्स गेट फॉर्म्ड वो नहीं होगा <laughs> है ना वो नहीं होगा स्प्रॉटिंग इनिबिट हो जाएगा नहीं होगी उस पर अब यहां सवाल उठता है इज इट गुड टू कंज्यूम क्या हम ऐसे गामा रेडिएशन से इसको प्रोसेस किया गया है क्या ऐसे रेडिएशन फूड हम खाए तो हमें कैंसर नहीं हो सकता है सो द आंसर इज दैट सच टेक्नोलॉजी वेयर वी यूज गामा रेज दैट लो डोज गामा रेडिएशन where we process the food for some kind of benefit they are only used for processing within the food will not have radiation if you consume so you are not getting food with radiation so they are safe to consume and this all are done under international best practices is all done under the international food safety standards and you know that in india we have a body fssi food safety and standard authority of india so they they confirm they test when everything is safe then it will go to the market jab wo safe hoga tabhi uske liye wahan pe usko label kiya jata hai package kiya jata hai aur market mein becha jata hai uske liye wahan par symbol hote hain jab wo pata hoga ye processed food hai now it is up to the consumer whether the consumer want to eat or not <laughs> right so that goes into that so you have here then again technology transfer kiya gaya tele ecg instrument ecg jo hote hain you know hospital heart ke jo functions ke liye ecg jo hote hain tele ecg jo hai usko technology develop kiya gaya bark scientists that have been given to hospitals transport there then is given to ahmedabad municipal corporation right indore mein diya gaya pune mein diya gaya भाभा कवच वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट भाभा कवच बुलेट प्रूफ जैकेट बुलेट प्रूफ जैकेट जनरली द पुलिस एंड ऑल विच बेयर द बुलेट प्रूफ जैकेट देर इज हेवी नाउ लाइट वेट लाइट वेट बुलेट प्रूफ जैकेट फॉर आर्मी फॉर पैरामिलिट्री फोर्स फॉर पुलिस हैज बिन डेवलप्ड बाई बार्क साइंटिस्ट एंड द नेम इज गिवन भाभा कवच अनदर माइल स्टोन राइट नाउ देर मेड ऑफ such kind of materials that is given here bhava kavach right bullet proof jacket industry developed hot pressed boron carbide se banaya gaya and carbon nanotube cnt hot pressed pressed boron carbide and carbon nanotubes use of nanotechnology nano materials light weight developed kiya gaya that is been given at bhava kavach transfer to midhani that is name of the company which is making that right is making for that then high level threat can be neutralized then coming to nisarga runa nisarga runa is a plant municipal solid waste management plant which can convert biodegradable solid waste into methane gas biomethanation and remaining which is left over the sludge slurry organic manure green manure can be used as fertilizers in the farmland bahut important technology hai nisarg runa that means ek tarah ka plant hai jo ki biodegradable jo jaivik taur pe biodegradable organic matter paper food all those kind of organic waste can be broken down decomposed to make मिथेन गैस यू नो मिथेन इज ए कम्बस्टेबल गैस उसको कुकिंग वगैरह में यूज कर सकते हैं एंड जो बच जाएगा जो मैनुअर है उसको फर्टिलाइजर तरह यूज कर सकते हैं तो यह अनदर अचीवमेंट इज हर नेशनल रूना सी हियर वॉट इज गिवन यर बार्क नेशनल रूना टेक्नोलॉजी फॉर हाइजीन प्रोसेसिंग एंड डिस्पोजल ऑफ सॉलिड बायोडिग्रेडेबल वेस्ट जो सॉलिड म्यूनसिपल सॉलिड वेस्ट होते हैं 
उसको प्रोसेस करने के लिए हाइजेनाइज करने के लिए रेडिएशन टेक्नोलॉजी इज़ यूज्ड इन दिस पर्क निसर रूना एफोर्डेबल टेक्नोलॉजी है और उसमें क्या लिखा हुआ है मेनी सिटीज़ ऑफ कंट्री पहले गुजरात में किया गया था बड़ौदा में बड़ोदरा में अब यहाँ पर माइथन माथरन आई एम सॉरी माथरन माथरन इन म्यूनसिपल काउंसिल दैट इज महाराष्ट्र माथरन मुंबई से आगे जाके माथरन होता है रेल स्टेशन है वहाँ पर सेट किया गया है देन स्वच्छ भारत अभियान के अंदर किया गया कन्नूर विलेज इन केरला वहाँ पर किया गया थाउजेंड के जी ऑफ वेस्ट पर डे प्रोसेस होता है वहाँ केरला में देन कमिंग टू हियर प्रोड्यूस बायोगैस इज यूज एज अ फ्यूल इन किचन यू नो दैट जैसे गोबर गैस प्लांट होता है इन विलेजेस कुकिंग के लिए यूज होता है तो बायोगैस विच इज प्रोड्यूस्ड द मेथेन विच इज प्रोड्यूस्ड बाई निसर रूणा कैन बी यूज फॉर कुकिंग पर्पज किचन में इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट इको फ्रेंडली विच कैन नो क्लीन द इन्वायरमेंट बाई प्रोसेस इन सच काइंड ऑफ अ बायोडिग्रेडेबल वेस्ट मटीरियल्स जनरेट मिथेन गैस विच कैन बी यूज फॉर कुकिंग पर्पज अ वेरी अफोर्डेबल टेक्नोलॉजी डेवलप बाई बाग साइंटिस्ट ना अनदर थिंग विच इज गिवेन हियर वाटर ट्रीटमेंट टेक्नोलॉजी बाग साइंटिस्ट डेवलप वाटर ट्रीटमेंट टेक्नोलॉजी विच हैव बिन गिवेन द स्टेट ऑफ महाराष्ट्र वेस्ट बंगाल बिहार एंड उड़ीसा विच कैन रिमूव हैवी मेटल्स टॉक्सिक केमिकल्स फ्रॉम वाटर देन गिवेन देयर थर्मल सी वाटर डिसनेशन टेक्नोलॉजी अदर थिंग यूर कोस्टल एरियाज आइलैंड विच रिक्वायर द प्योर वाटर ड्रिंकिंग वाटर पोटेबल वाटर डी सेलिनेशन प्लांट्स तो दैट टेक्नोलॉजी यूजिंग न्यूक्लियर साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी डी सेलिनेशन प्लांट दिस हैज बिन गिवन टू द कोस्टल साइट सो ये वॉट इज गिवेन यूर थर्मल डी सी वाटर डी सेलिनेशन प्लांट टेक्नोलॉजी बेस्ड ऑन मल्टी इफेक्ट डिस्टिलेशन डिस्टिलेशन थर्मल वेपर कंप्रेशन टेक्नोलॉजी ट्रांसफर टू टू एंटरप्रेनर्स टू स्टार्टअप कंपनीज उनको यह एडवांस टेक्नोलॉजी जो कि हीट थर्मल एंड वेपर कंप्रेशन टेक्नोलॉजी पे डिस्टिलेशन करता है डिसलेशन करता है दो ऐसे स्टार्टअप कंपनीज को दिया गया राइट अगेन अनदर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट अचीवमेंट दे एंड देन थर्मल न्यूक्लियर दिस सिविल न्यूक्लियर कॉपरेशन विद अदर कंट्रीज लाइक हियर वॉट इज गिवेन हियर मेमोरेंडम ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग हैज बिन साइन बिटवीन इन इंडिया रशिया एंड बांग्लादेश बांग्लादेश इज गोइंग टू हैव न्यूक्लियर पार्क एंड इंडिया एंड रशिया टूगेदर विल हेल्प बिल्डिंग न्यूक्लियर रिएक्टर दे दैट इज द पार्ट ऑफ न्यूक्लियर कॉमर्स ट्राई पैट्रिएट एग्रीमेंट एम ओ यू विथ थ्री गवर्नमेंट्स थ्री कंट्रीज इंडिया रशिया एंड बांग्लादेश दैट इज गिवेन हियर कहाँ पर बांग्लादेश में देन एग्रीमेंट विथ कैनेडा देन अगेन पब्लिकेशन पेटेंट्स एंड ऑल इवन द पेटेंट्स वॉट एवर रिसर्च वी आर डूइंग वॉट एवर टेक्नोलॉजी वी आर डेवलपिंग वी आर गेटिंग द पेटेंट्स ऑन दोज इन्वेंशंस दैट इज वॉट अवर साइंटिस्ट आर फाइलिंग देर द नंबर ऑफ पेटेंट्स आर नॉट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट राइट सो आई हैव गिवन यू नॉट ओनली वन ईयर करेंट एस्पेक्ट एंड द डेवलपमेंट फ्रॉम इंडियाज न्यूक्लियर टेक्नोलॉजी बट आई हैिवन फॉर द लास्ट सेवन ईयर्स and that could be question in the exam theek <laughs> hai so now i'll do one thing i'll go to the renewable energy sudden latest update there and it always comes in the newspaper right it always becomes a part of the newspaper so let us now go into that see when when we talk about uh, the newspaper part of here i i mentioned that when you were we take renewable energy and renewable power generation that is the role of ministry of new and renewable energy comes into that mnre you know previous year question paper when you go to the previous year question paper there is already a question has been asked that 100% solar powered airport kochi kochi international airport right floating largest solar park in india bhatla in rajasthan largest floating solar पार्क फ्लोटिंग सोलर पार्क और प्रोजेक्ट ओमकारेश्वर डैम दैट इज इन द मध्य प्रदेश ऑल दीज हैव बिन देयर समवेयर इन द न्यूज पेपर न्यूज देयर एंड यूपीसी आज द क्वेश्चन तो नाउ वॉट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट हियर वन इज दैट दिस वन द सोलर पावर सेकेंड कम्स हियर विंड पावर थर्ड कम्स हियर बायोमास ऑर्गेनिक मैटर बायोमास From there we can generate electricity. The next comes here, 
another one which is making headline geothermal ladakh ladakh is going to have geothermal power plant iceland us and all these countries they generate that so now we are going another very very important one is the ocean forms of energy like ocean wind energy ocean tidal energy lakshadweep kaavarti world's first otec o t e c otec ocean thermal energy conversion based desalination plant has been operated has been operationalized there tidal power plant proposal in gujarat again they form the part of it hydro power if you look at micro hydel mini hydel small hydel right that becomes a part of it so you know that this becomes very important because uh, india has said that will become and we have take, taken a target of 500 gigawatt 500 gigawatt by 2030 under paris agreement india has committed under the paris agreement to generate 500 gigawatt renewable power 2022 we had a target of achieving 175 gigawatt 100 gigawatt solar 60 gigawatt wind 10 gigawatt biomass 5 gigawatt small hydro power shp small hydro power now we are going for 500 gigawatt from environment and ecology you know that already for solar there is a very important project called green grid initiative during the uh, this scotland glasgow summit india and uk has have come forward with this ggi green grid initiative to build intercontinental connecting asia with europe south east asia africa america intercontinental grid of uh, renewable power particularly from the solar energy and this comes under a very ambitious program proposed by the prime minister of india one sun one world one grid initiative os ow 1g og and this is being done under partnership under a single umbrella program called isa international solar alliance intergovernmental initiative which is a headquartered of this isa is in india gurugram there is a organization called national institute of solar energy which comes under mnre there is a headquarter of isa international solar alliance which is the kind of intergovernmental group of initially 121 countries came together in paris summit cop 21 conference of parties 21 of unfccc united nation framework convention on climate change that in paris in france in 2015 fir baad mein uska summit hua form hua 1000 billion dollars going to be mobilize the finance for solar based technology then prime minister proposed one sun one world one grid initiative now this has become in glasgow summit right to november 2021 as green grid initiative where all the continents all the countries with the continents with solar power generation they will all get interconnected form a single grid very very ambitious project so when you read climate change clean technology green technology green energy clean energy all are making headlines and then you have to connect from the india's development from renewable power our commitment to fight climate change that comes into that right so here i'll go through some of the data and i'll quote from the government data mnre so let us go to the mnre here i am now coming to the mnre part that is this one if we look at solar energy right let me figure the sun you know that we have been worshiping that 5000 kilo and if you look at here this map see when it come to solar power on grid and off grid what is on grid we'll generate the power distribute through power lines grid off grid means we'll generate the power and use it locally for charging for home power generation or electricity fan off grid and second is on grid we we'll generate and distribute the so solar power has become very very important here if you see this map here what do you see this uh, dark blue color 
राजस्थान एंड गुजरात हाई पोटेंशियल स्टेट्स फॉर सोलर पावर जनरेशन अबंडेंट सनलाइट कर्नाटका अबंडेंट सनलाइट यू टेक हियर टोटल इंस्टॉल कैपेसिटी हियर यू हैव अ इंस्टॉलेशन सो इफ यू लुक एट हियर इन दिस मैप ऑफ इंडिया सेवन थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड फिफ्टी फाइव मेगा वॉट इंस्टॉलेशन हैज बिन डन इन स्टेट ऑफ कर्नाटका इफ यू टेक राजस्थान फाइव थाउजेंड सेवन थर्टी टू मेगा वॉट सोलर पावर प्रोजेक्ट हैज बिन इंस्टॉल्ड इफ यू टेक गुजरात फोर थाउजेंड फोर थर्टी मेगा वॉट सोलर पावर प्रोजेक्ट हैज बिन इंस्टॉल्ड इफ यू टेक हियर तेलंगाना थ्री थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड फिफ्टी थ्री मेगा वॉट आंध्र प्रदेश फोर थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड थ्री मेगा वॉट तमिलनाडु फोर थाउजेंड फोर सेवेंटी फाइव मेगा वॉट राइट ओडिशा फोर फोर हंड्रेड वन देव लो द डार्क ब्लू इज हाइयर लाइट ब्लू इज अ मीडियम एंड द लाइटेस्ट दैट इज अ लोएस्ट लाइक ओडिशा फोर हंड्रेड वन छत्तीसगढ़ टू फिफ्टी टू right so what is very important as of march 2021 so the state with highest power generation comes in this one rajasthan then karnataka then you have a gujarat tamil nadu telangana andhra pradesh right they are the leading states in terms of solar power generation what i have been talking about there and their off grid application if you look at off grid that means we are not distributing through power lines so that is here solar lighting street light street lighting right street lighting then again the home light inside the home then solar lantern the the bulb where the light the solar lantern solar pump another very one very important one pm kusum yojana where the water pump used in agriculture field by farmers they require electricity now what is done the solarized water pump has been given to farmers at the same time whichever the older water pump which was not solar based water pump they have been solarized so here you can see this one 256156 solar pump then stand alone power project plant that is solar park right 214565 that is a kilowatt has been now set up and you can see here this one photovoltaic technology use of photovoltaic technology in either off grid and on grid then grid connected solar parks which have been now developed right bhatla in rajasthan high power generation now gujarat kutch hybrid solar wind hybrid which will use the solar power at the same time wind power which will become the world's biggest solar hybrid solar wind hybrid power project so you have here then again manufacturing schemes are there policies schemes now you know solar water heater solar lighting system all this you find here even now we have expanded into manufacturing of the components and parts of solar technology in india right so here you find that so here what you come across now what i'll do here if i go to the part of a uh, wind so in wind power generation we have two aspect one is called offshore that is on the ocean when the wind turbines are erected and this continuous wind so on the ocean the wind turbine can continuously work and second is on the land coastal site what is called offshore onshore onshore on the land coastal site offshore in the ocean on the sea to so where government has come out with a policy to promote offshore wind energy which will be on sea and ocean so here you have this one offshore wind right then you have a this offshore wind 57 gigawatt more than that 18 countries in the world they have been such kind of offshore now india is also getting into that one right now here what you come across leading countries are uk china germany denmark and Uh, Netherlands for offshore, that is in the outside in the sea and sea and ocean, not on the land, on the water side. Now India has come out with the policy, right? So here 
we have been now national offshore wind energy policy and we have long coastline there we can go for it right we can go for it because we have long coastline here now coming to here further if you look at here research development translation all we are doing we have a company called we have a government organization called nive national institute of wind energy which developed the wind turbine technology even by using low wind speed we can harness wind energy and can generate power right so that is what comes here when it comes to the part of the body right and you can see here this is one the wind and all you will find here this is overview you have so if you look at wind power right uh, leading states so one is this one gujarat 8561 megawatt of wind power Gujarat generate the highest wind power in India. Then if we take here Rajasthan. Total installed wind power is four thousand three hundred twenty-six megawatt. Then coming to this one, Maharashtra, five thousand megawatt wind power generation. Then coming to Andhra Pradesh, four thousand ninety-six wind power megawatt wind power. Karnataka, four thousand nine thirty-eight megawatt wind power. Tamil Nadu, nine six zero eight. earlier tamil nadu was rank 1 in terms of wind power now gujarat has overtaken that but again now see here gujarat 8561 now tamil nadu has still higher that means initially tamil nadu was there then gujarat took over tamil nadu as rank 1 but now again tamil nadu has become rank 1 tamil nadu has got 9608 megawatt wind power generation now gujarat stands at 8561 मेगावाट सी ऑल दिस फिगर्स डाटा आर चेंजेबल ये जितने ऐसे डाटा हैं ये एग्जाम के लिए आपको याद नहीं करना है एग्जाम में आपसे डाटा नहीं पूछा जाएगा ये चेंजेबल है ये हो सकता है कि कुछ और इंस्टॉलेशन हो जाए तो ये नंबर चेंज हो सकता है ये मैं केवल आइडिया दे रहा हूँ कि कौन कौन से ऐसे लीडिंग स्टेट्स हैं विच आर जेनेटिक विंड पावर इससे पहले मैंने मैप के थ्रू सोलर पावर का बताया मैंने आपको इसको याद नहीं करना है ठीक है हाँ कब ध्यान रखना है जस्ट बिफोर द एग्जाम एक बार उसको रिव्यू करना है कहाँ रिव्यू करना है एम एन आर ई के साइट में करना है यू हैव टू रिव्यू इन द साइट ऑफ मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ न्यू एंड रिन्यूबल एनर्जी देर यू हैव टू गो टू द ओवरव्यू ऑफ सोलर विंड बायोमास सी द लीडिंग स्टेट्स यू डोंट हैव टू मग अप द वैल्यू ऑफ मेगा वॉट और गीगा वॉट पावर जनरेशन बट यू मस्ट नो विच आर द लीडिंग स्टेट्स दे राइट सो दिस वॉट आई एम ट्राइंग टू मेक यू अंडरस्टैंड then then if you take here here another thing which comes here small hydro what is small hydro which can generate power less than 50 megawatt generally up to 25 megawatt they they do don't store uh, water normal dams and barrage or hydro power project they are bigger level here the running water the river stream that is used to run the turbine a small turbine which can directly water can be passed through turbine and that generate electricity this is really a good option for hilly areas uttarakhand himachal pradesh all those areas can use small hydro power iit roorkee they have developed such technologies right so if you look at here this uh, part of uh, here again you see the data here if you see the latest uh, state having the small hydro power the first comes here himachal pradesh himachal pradesh has got 9000 sorry 936 936 megawatt small hydro power yahan kya hota hai direct pani ko slope ke through turbine mein giraya jata hai जिसके घूमने से बिजली उत्पन्न होती है इसमें पानी स्टोर नहीं करते और फिर वापस पानी को नदी में भेज दिया जाता है डाइवर्ट कर देते हैं राइट तो हिमाचल प्रदेश में भी 936 हंड्रेड स्मॉल हाइड्रो पावर जनरेशन है दूसरा जो लीडिंग स्टेट है कर्नाटका सबसे ज़्यादा कर्नाटका में 1280 कर्नाटका स्टेट हैज गॉड हाइएस्ट small hydro power projects 1280 megawatt then comes himachal 
ठीक है इवन एक उत्तराखंड में अभी नहीं है पर प्रदेश दिल्ली में नहीं है ठीक है एक और स्टेट है महाराष्ट्र 379 मेगावाट बट मैंने क्या बताया उत्तराखंड हैज अ पोटेंशियल उत्तराखंड हिमाचल प्रदेश हिली एरियाज दे कैन हार्नेस द पावर ऑफ रनिंग वाटर थ्रू एस तो अभी जो फिलहाल जो डाटा है वेर गवर्नमेंट हैज डन इंस्टॉलेशन तो वन इज हिमाचल प्रदेश सेकेंड कर्नाटका थर्ड इज महाराष्ट्र तो दैट यू हैव टू रिमेंबर तो नंबर वन इज अयर दिस दिस इफ यू लुक एट महाराष्ट्र थ्री सेवेंटी नाइन नंबर वन इज यर कर्नाटका वन थाउजेंड टू एटी नंबर टू इज हिमाचल प्रदेश नाइन थर्टी सिक्स एंड थर्ड रैंक इज महाराष्ट्र थ्री सेवेंटी नाइन राइट दैट इज वॉट यू हैव अ स्मॉल हाइड्रो पावर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन तक में ये डाटा है ठीक है नाउ कमिंग टू दिस वन वेस्ट टू एनर्जी प्लांट आजकल काफी चर्चा में होता है इंडिया इज जनरेटिंग ह्यूज अमाउंट ऑफ गार्बेज एंड डंपिंग ऑफ गार्बेज क्रिएट लॉट ऑफ इन्वॉल्व प्रॉब्लम वन इज दैट द गार्बेज विच गेट्स कलेक्टेड इन अ हिल हिल ऑफ गार्बेज राइट एयर वॉटर लैंड ऑल गेट पोल्यूटेड इट क्रिएट्स अ न्यूसेंस टू द नेबरहुड इन टर्म्स ऑफ स्मेल एंड ऑल एवरीथिंग कम्स इन लीचिंग टू ग्राउंड वाटर कैन क्रिएट पोल्यूशन ऑफ ग्राउंड ग्राउंड वाटर सो द वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट has become a very challenging task in india in our country we use wte plant bharat mein waste energy plant use karte hain jahan par hum kya karte hain after collection and segregation ikatta aur alag karne ke baad prathak karne ke baad you know those kind of garbage or solid waste municipal solid waste we burn in a wte plant which generate heat and that heat convert water into steam and that steam is fed into turbine कनेक्टेड टू जनरेटर एंड द जनरेटर प्रोड्यूस इलेक्ट्रिसिटी अर्बन एरिया सिटीज एंड टाउन राइट नाउ सच काइंड ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी वट वी ऑलरेडी यूज आर आइदर लिमिटेड वेरी लेस नंबर ऑफ डब्ल्यू टी प्लांट्स इंडिया हैज गॉट और दोज विच आर ऑपरेशनल दे आर नॉट फॉलोइंग इन्वायरमेंटल कंप्लाइंस कॉजिंग पोल्यूशन केस इन पॉइंट इज ओखला ओखला डब्ल्यू टी प्लांट in delhi right so now if you see here this uh, overview in terms of this right i'm taking to that one so now if you take here wte plant right uh, you have here and this all done by the private sector there right you'll find here so now if you look at here look at here delhi delhi has got wte plant 52 megawatt Telangana, 458, 45.8 megawatt, 45 megawatt. Delhi has got, Uttar Pradesh has got zero. Delhi has got 52 megawatt. Telangana has got 45. So Delhi has a higher capacity of WTE plant as compared to Telangana. Andhra Pradesh has got 23 megawatt. Right. Then Ma Madhya Pradesh has got 15.4 megawatt. Maharashtra has got 12.59 megawatt. So what does that mean? If you look at this map, tons and tons of garbage, lot of solid waste, are generated throughout the country. There are many major cities and towns, even small towns and cities, uh, their solid waste are generated. But if you look at uh, WTE, waste to energy plants, and their uh, treatment of such kind of a uh, segregated solid waste, is only in the few states. Delhi being the NCR, but only the few of them. So now you can understand the situation in India, how severe the problem of the solid waste is in India, treatment of solid waste, and those which are operating is not very high level, not very efficient, right? So this is the data, but I am giving the idea based on that. So what is WTE plan? Where we burn such segregated waste to generate heat, and that heat can boil water into steam, and the steam. Runs a turbine generator to produce electricity, right? Now what I'm coming here, a uh, very very important part, the last part which I'll cover here, bio energy, biomass energy, organic matter, biodegradable matter, either coming from agriculture, rice husk, sugarcane, bagasse, even the stubble, 
coming from agricultural land all this can be used either in fermentation technology to make alcohol ethanol bioethanol biofuel and use in the vehicles or we can burn in a biogasifier gasifier in a limited air supply we can burn to produce syn gas or producer gas which has methane combustible gas and that can again be burned to generate heat convert water into steam and steam to turbine generator production of electricity so there are scientific and technological kind of a devices like gasifier fermenter bio refineries which we can use any such biomass coming from plants and animals either from agriculture or industry or domestic and convert into some usable form today science and technology exist only the thing is funding implementation that is a very important so what i'll give you here let's look at the first overview the how much biomass power power generation you understand that we burning it in a gasifier and again whatever heat is generated right what happens in gasifier is a unit within that you can burn the biomass rice husk groundnut shell coconut coir even stubble and whatever the you know bagasse sugarcane bagasse after we crush it the dried part and whatever the the heat is the producer gas it forms a producer gas when you burn it in less air carbon monoxide nitrogen hydrogen then methane carbon dioxide producer gas which is also combustible gas further it can be collected and can be burnt to develop to generate heat boil water into steam rotate the turbine to the generator produce electricity right that's the technology so here you see the overview here leading state biomass power is uttar pradesh that means uttar pradesh number of places biogasifier either small or bigger levels have been installed and all such biomass power what is installed capacity 2117 2100 100 17 megawatt then second leading state comes here maharashtra 2584 megawatt biomass power third state comes here karnataka 1887 megawatt power generation using biomass power there this is what you find here then comes the next state tamil nadu 1012 megawatt biomass power so i repeat here uttar pradesh then Mah uttar pradesh 2117 maharashtra 2584 maharashtra is highest karnataka 1887 and tamil nadu 1012 highest is maharashtra 2584 Second highest is UP, two one one seven, right? Third is Karnataka state, one eight eight seven, and fourth is Tamil Nadu, right? Even now, you know, national biofuel policy, where government has come out with national biofuel policy to make biofuel, bioethanol, and bio diesel. how we can make it known fermentation what is fermentation where we can convert biomass coming from plants and all under anaerobic condition using microorganism into alcohol ethanol and that ethanol we can blend with petrol mix with petrol ethanol blended petrol ebp india has already achieved 5% ebp ethanol blending petrol ethanol blended petrol we have already achieved that target second is bio diesel by using again conversion technique using chemistry chemical transformation transesterification and all we can convert from plant matter like jatropha pongamia biofuel producing plants into bio diesel in a refinery bio refinery so under national biofuel policy first thing is that we have achieved the target right uh, of bio diesel and bio ethanol that is a particular ethanol blended petrol by up to 20% that is a target kept there steering committee to 
fund and look into coordination jatropa that is called first generation is normal agriculture crops from the second is non agriculture crop that is a jatropa pungami and all this but we can also have a food waste coming from home hotel restaurant we can do the fermentation so there government is given the focus to basic biofuel advanced biofuel basic biofuel is 1g and 2g first generation second generation like food waste spoiled oil right waste food grains coming from godowns in home the wastage whatever comes there hotel restaurant there we can ferment it at the same time jatropha pungamia biofuel producing plants from there we can make it advanced biofuel is the third generation what is third generation algae algae green color algae we have seen micro algae found in ocean micro algae which can be grown in the water bodies artificial tank or water bodies where we can grow micro algae which capture carbon and through micro algae we can convert into the biofuel that advanced biofuel again government is giving the funding for research viability gap funding to private companies to have bio refineries vgf funding to build bio refineries then storage marketing use in the market right all those things have been brought under national biofuel policy so here you will find that when you go go back here so you will be having this bioenergy part of it right research development and all this policy scheme now what i'm coming here ocean forms of energy let's come to the ocean forms of energy now ocean forms of energy if i go to the ocean forms of energy then in this context uh ocean forms of energy if you look at government is now giving importance to hydrogen one is hydrogen now we have started national hydrogen mission hydrogen as a gas can be blended with cng compressed natural gas which contain methane hydrogen cng will reduce the carbon emission 40% around blending of hydrogen gas with cng and that is now been sold in the market hydrogen fuel cell battery fuel cell technology where two wheeler three wheeler four wheeler can be used so hydrogen is the future and we have also discussed one more hydrogen that is a fusion power hydrogen hydrogen fusion plasma energy hydrogen fuel cell technology hydrogen with cng germany becomes the first country in the world to have a passenger train coradia island coradia island which can run at a speed of 140 km per hour germany becomes the first country which use hydrogen hydrogen powered passenger train india also has a plan to build hydrogen powered passenger train so we took at here new technology here hydrogen energy then geothermal energy ladakh geothermal power what is geothermal energy heat of the earth hot geyser spring sulfur spring all those heat coming from the earth the steam generation and then feed to turbine generator power plant and general electricity ladakh has a good potential puga valley in ladakh then manikaran in himachal pradesh surajkund in jharkhand badrinath tapovan in uttarakhand right tata pani in chatisgarh there so many sites are there more than 500 sites have been identified by gsi geological survey of india out of these potential sites are puga valley ladakh manikaran in himachal pradesh then surajkund in jharkhand then tata pani in chatisgarh badrinath tapovan in uttarakhand parvati valley in punjab uttarakhand there bias punjab many sites are there and that heat which can be taken for interior housing heating greenhouse cultivation poultry farming poultry part of this even for bath eco tourism spa and all this plus power generation etc turbine generator technology so again that is a given here ladakh will become the first unit ready to have 
जो थर्मल पावर प्लांट देन कमिंग टू एनर्जी स्टोरेज लाइक नॉट टूडे वी यूज लिथियम आइन बैटरी सपोज दैट सोलर पावर जनरेशन विंड पावर जनरेशन बायोमास पावर जनरेशन वेन वी जनरेट सरप्लस यूजिंग सोलर पावर विंड पावर बायोमास पावर वॉट एवर सोर्स इवन कन्वेंशनल थर्मल पावर प्लांट एंड ऑल वी नीड स्टोरेज तो वन लिथियम आइन बैटरी वट वी यूज बट वी नीड अदर टाइप ऑफ बिगर स्टोरेज डिवाइस तो आर एंड डी इन टू द रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट इन टू दिस देन यू कैन सी यर ओशियन फॉर्म्स ऑफ एनर्जी लाइक ए टाइडल पावर ओटेक ओशियन थर्मल एनर्जी कन्वर्जन गवर्नमेंट हेज स्टार्टेड विथ नेशनल ओशियन मिशन ओशियन इज वेरी वेल्युबल टू इंडिया नॉट ओनली स्ट्रेटेजिक डिफेंस बट ऑल्सो फ्रॉम लिविंग नॉन लिविंग रिसोर्सेज लाइक नेचुरल गैस और पॉलीमेटारिक नोड्यूल कोबाल सल्फाइड हाइड्रोकार्बन देन लिविंग रिसोर्स फूड फिशेस एंड ऑल बायोटेक्नोलॉजी रिसर्च इन टर्म्स ऑफ गेटिंग ड्रग मॉलिक्यूल्स फ्रॉम वेरियस मरीन स्पेसिस Again, ocean energy. Use of technology to harness ocean energy. Tidal power plant, where tide, high tide, low tide. We can build a barrage over estuary, and the water from the high tide, low tide can be kept in barrage to run a turbine generator. Gujarat has a proposal to build tidal power plant. Right. Another thing, very important one is OTEC, ocean thermal energy conversion. OTEC plant. I have told that Kavarathi, Lakshadweep Island, becomes the world's first OTEC-run desalination plant. Here, temperature difference between the warm surface water and one kilometer deep, thousand meter deep cold water. This two water can be used to create a temperature gradient, and we can use some kind of volatile liquid like ammonia and all convert to gas, and through gas, right ammonia vapor to pass to turbine. Turbine generator produces electricity. Condense it back by cold water. Closed cycle OTEC. What is open cycle OTEC? We take sea water, saline water, into a vacuum chamber, which is pressurized, pressurized vacuum chamber, flash evaporation, to convert sea water, salt water, into steam, leaving behind salt. And that steam goes to turbine generator, produces electricity, and then condensed into drinking water, potable water. in another chamber which is cooled by cold deep water from using a pipe which will cool that chamber by using a pipe carrying cool deep water and as the steam go to that um chamber steam condenses into drinking water so that is called open cycle otic so all these technologies we are developing and using there there is a organization called niot National Institute of Ocean Technology. Our deep sea survey, submersible, submarines. We are all developing that robotics and all this. Ship program, which survey does, Sagar Kanya, Sagar Purvi, Sagar, these are the EEZ part. So here you will find ocean energy. India has a huge potential of using such new technology. Right? If we take here the overview of new technology, so you have all the programs are there. Palk Strait, Gulf of Mannar, Tamil Nadu, then Sundarban Delta, Hooghly River, then coming to Gujarat, Kutch and Khambat. This is all given here, right? This is what is mentioned here. Hydrogen energy, storage, hydrogen fuel cell, and all this R&D part, right? Then hydrogen CNG, geothermal energy, 10 gigawatt geothermal power, and one of the potential site, as I said, that is Ladakh. Energy storage. वॉट एवर एनर्जी और पावर वी जनरेट वी कैन बैकअप स्टोर इन द एनर्जी स्टोरेज डिवाइस एंड देन वी कैन सप्लाई इट वेन देर इज अ लो पावर जनरेशन और इंटरमीडियट पावर जनरेशन तो वी कैन बैकअप विद द एनर्जी स्टोर्ड इन दैट काइंड ऑफ डिवाइस विच कैन सप्लाई कंटिन्यूस पावर इन टू द ग्रीड है ना ये चीज़ वहाँ पर है तो यहाँ पर इसको हम यूज कर सकते हैं ई वीज वगैरह जैसे है स्टोरेज सिस्टम बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल्स के लिए इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल्स with battery system which requires storage so that once you charge it the car can move the vehicle can move right so you know the government is trying to promote manufacturing use of electric vehicle evs but that requires storage batteries so we need to manufacture in the country right 
and that is where the program called FIM, faster adoption of manufacturing of hybrid and electric vehicle, faster, faster adoption manufacturing of hybrid and electric vehicles. So you require storage device, R&D and all, which is required there. At the same time, the power generation and storage and then supply to the grid, they require storage devices. बहुत सारी चीजें हैं एक नहीं है बहुत सारी चीजें एंड यूपीसी कैन आस्क एनी क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम एनर्जी पॉट इन दिस सेशन आई हैव डिस्कस सो मेनी पॉइंट्स सो मेनी थिंग्स आर देयर राइट आपको ये सारे जो पॉइंट्स हैं या जो जो टॉपिक्स मैंने हाईलाइट किया है जो जो चीजें मैंने बताया है वेबसाइट के थ्रू एम के साइट के थ्रू डी के साइट के थ्रू कुछ पॉइंट मैंने लिख के बताया है all these uh, topics and the points are very relevant for the exam and you can get questions in the exam ye sab ke sab bahut important exam mein aur uske sandarbh mein questions aa sakte hain to ye pura ka pura session jo hai fact ke sath sath bahut sari cheezon ko maine class mein connect kiya hai aur ye sabhi cheezon ko aapko current affair material se padhna hai you have to go through all such topics which i have mentioned in the current affair materials and read and revise them and solve questions there might be a question asked in the exam based on such topics there right and uh, you could uh, be able to solve such questions in the exam and so i know that uh, it is an exhaustive says <laughs> right but you are able to make sense had it been a classroom program i could have written on the board explained everything in detail main sara kuch detail mein likhta batata dictate karata notes deta question karata agar ye normal classroom ka ek kind of science and technology ke class hota but here we are doing for current aspect we are doing for targeted kind of topics where that means With that assumption that you know the basics, है ना मैं ये सोच रहा हूँ कि आपने साइंस टेक पोर्शन किया है उसका बेसिक पता है आपको उसकी अंडरस्टैंडिंग है तो इसलिए ये सारे जो टॉपिक्स मैंने बताए ऑरली जो मैंने समझाया राइट यू आर एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड कनेक्ट विद दैट वॉट यू हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड एंड देन दोज टॉपिक्स यू कैन फोकस फ्रॉम करंट अफेयर्स है ना आप करंट अफेयर्स में ऐसे टॉपिक्स को फोकस कर सकते हैं उसको अंडरस्टैंड कर सकते हैं वो सारी जितने बेसिक चीज है इफ अमंग यू वॉन्ट टू लर्न साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी यू कैन गो टू माई बुक राइट साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी की बुक है दिस द साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी बुक फ्रॉम ओगब्रिज पब्लिकेशन इसका थर्ड एडिशन ऑलरेडी मार्केट में है इवन यू कैन ऑर्डर थ्रू एमेजोन Flipkart, है ना दिस रिटर्न बाई मी ओनली आई एम द ऑथर ऑफ दिस बुक और ये सब जितने भी ऐसे जो कंसेप्ट हैं टॉपिक्स है उसको मैंने बुक में प्रॉपरली समझाया आई हैव एक्सप्लेन ऑल सच साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी बेस्ड टॉपिक्स बोथ फॉर प्रम्स एग्जाम मेन एग्जाम इन दिस बुक इज साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी फ्रॉम इंसेप्शन टू एडवांसमेंट If you do Google search, you'll get that. Is it there in the Amazon Flipkart? I'll show you there. ये Amazon Flipkart में भी है. जैसे कि यहाँ पे भी रुका है Science and Technology. If I just write here Science and Technology, and I'm writing here Oak Bridge. O A K B R I D G E. This is the name of the publication. This is the book. ये बुक है दिस बुक यू हैव राइट लगातार इससे क्वेश्चंस आ रहे हैं कंटिन्यूसली क्वेश्चंस आर बीइंग आस्ड फ्रॉम दिस साइंस टेक बुक आई हैव गिवन सो मेनी टॉपिक्स such kind of relevant important topics even the future exams questions can be asked pehle bhi jo exams ka question aaya hua hai 
और भी ऐसे कई चीज़ें जो आने वाले एग्जाम में क्वेश्चन आ सकता है प्रिलिम्स मेन्स में वो कवर किया गया इस बुक में ठीक है सो इन इफ यू हैव लर्न साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी इन क्लासरूम विच एवर इंस्टीट्यूट यू बिलोंग यू कैन यूज एज अ रेफरेंस बुक यार कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव लैंग्वेज विथ डायग्राम फैक्ट्स टेबल एवरीथिंग इज गिवन ठीक है तो इसमें करेंट के भी कई चीजें हैं आप तो इसको आप रेफर कर सकते हो राइट दैट यू कैन रेफर यूर फ्रॉम द करेंट परसपेक्टिव ऑल्सो देर Amazon Flipkart is available. Science and Technology from Inception to Advancement. Oak Bridge Publication. If you write my name, Neeraj Nachi Keta, you will get this. Right? So, ये जो energy का मैंने बताया, I have a chapter on nuclear energy, ITER, fusion power, normal India's nuclear power program is all given, are all given there. Then about renewable power, separate chapters is given there. and all this otech technology ocean technology geothermal solar wind all things are given there right so current affairs and you can link with the basic concept from the book right so i hope that whatever this session i have discussed the topics and areas pib update and all again you'll find here pib update bar development mnre renewable power kind of thing the minister of nuclear energy all are given in the book so all what i have covered today and highlighted those areas they are all linked with current aspect and you could get questions in the exam right to main ye ummeed karta hu ki aap ye sare cheeze samajh pa rahi hain pa rahe hain aur isko acche se taiyar karke jayenge taki exam mein question solve ho jaye theek hai so with this uh, i will be signing off here we'll meet in another session with a new topic of science and technology from current aspect which are relevant for upcoming exam right so take care and study well right whatever doubts you have you can always address to us right till we meet in the kind of a next session thank you everyone take care bye bye